Hey guys, welcome to verificate.com. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip that's going to help you out uh, in the long run for multiple things. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to use it towards ceilings and changing the heights of ceilings. Um, but you can imagine this could work for doors, windows, and anything that has an offset or, or some, uh, some of the same instance with different offsets. So <clears throat> the basic idea is you have a ceiling plan, which I'm showing here, and you want to be able to change the heights of some of these ceilings. Now when you start getting into a lot of different ceilings, uh, a lot of different heights and a lot of different extrusions, it gets tedious to select each ceiling and change the height. For instance, we have a 2x2 two by, two by two, uh, act ceiling here. We also have a 2x2 two two here and there's a 2x2 two two all over the place. Um, each one of them has a different offset. But let's say I just wanted to take the one that has a 12 foot 5 offset and I wanted to change that to something like a 12 foot O or a 12 foot 2 or something like that. Um, instead of selecting a cross and changing it, uh, it, it's a little easier to use the method I'm going to show you here. So basically the idea is to create a schedule and in that schedule you're going to group the fields that have the same offset and then you can manipulate them that way. So if I go to view and I say schedules, I'm going to do schedules and quantities. I'm going, to create, I'm going to create a ceiling schedule. So I click ceilings. New construction is fine. Click OK. <coughs> now you don't really need too many, too many parameters here. All you're going to want is family and type and height offset from level. If you don't have this, this uh, parameter, uh, it's pretty easy to make. I could go through a post of that. But I'm pretty sure there should be one called offset or something like that in a typical template. Um, so if we just pull over the height offset from level, click OK, it's going to make a schedule. And in the schedule, you're going to see all of the families and types, and then you're also going to see all their offsets. See here? So I pull this out. There's our 2 by 2s and there's all their offsets. So now let's say you only wanted to change all the ones that were 12, 12 foot 5. Well, we're going to change our fields, and we're going to go to our sorting and grouping, and we're going to sort them by the height offset. And here we're going to create a bank blank line. We're going to say uncheck itemize every instance. So it's going to take all the ones that are the same and it's going to group them together and click OK. Now you'll see our schedule actually has all of these pulled together. What you can't see is that there are multiple, uh, multiple items in here. If you want to see that, we can add a count to it. Click OK and you'll see how many ceilings are in each one. So here's our 12 foot 5 down at the bottom here. And let's say I wanted to change that to 12 foot 6. All I have to do now is go in here and select 12 foot, it types 12 foot 6, and it'll change all the ceilings just like that. So instead of selecting throughout the entire project or multiple picking, um, this is an easy way to change their heights. And because they are the same family and type, it's very difficult. You can't do select all instances in view, otherwise it'll select ones that have different offsets. So you can see this could be used for doors, windows, and any other type of object, but this is a good example and I hope you guys learned something.